Those otters. Okay. Oh, they're fully grown. Their height depends on what kind of giraffe they are. Is that what you were running to? Giraffes like these grow to be 16 to 18 feet tall. Let me look at that one. Oh, that's a big one, one of the, the tallest trees. animals in the world. Grow to be 18 to 20 feet tall. Cindy, look. Look, look, look. I know. I see. On top of their heads, very pronounced ossicones. Right, there's one hiding. And despite yeah. their size, giraffes still unfortunately get poached. They get poached with their coats, their meat, and the hair at the end of their tails. I mean, it's it about nice. 15 oh, times as thick as human hair in Africa they used to make jewelry. I mean, their coats are very kind of nice and distinct in pattern. So, you know, I can see why people would want to wear their coats. So now we're taking Tembo Road here. And right next to us, you find. We're being followed by a poacher. <laughs> water bucks are a variety of antelope that land by bodies of water. They have the ability to waterproof themselves. They'll secrete an oily, smelly substance through their coats. They have the smell deters the predators while they run away through the water. Yeah, they have circles around their beehole. And you can look really on top of their heads. Twice. I'm going to say it louder. Either males or females. Males have horns, females don't. But this one here that's kind of parallel with us, it's a little one. He was born last October, so he has little tiny horns. Same with the one right past him. Oh! So we're headed up to the camera right here. No, it's the speakers. Oh. Find some Tembo, which means elephants in Swahili. Swahili, Tembo. Tembo. Oh, there's one of them big goofy trees. Trunk trees. Swahili. I don't think I got him. I don't think I got him. He's somebody's dinner tonight. What's the name of that bunny? Kuneho. 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 Oh, what's this one? What's this? There, there goes a bunny right there. I just saw him. He's trying to hide behind that little patch of grass. There he goes. Bam! What is it, a bunny? Caught him. Why did the bunny cross the road? Why did the bunny cross the road? To go to somebody's house. Just to sit in the middle of it. That's right. We gotta wait for Swahili's over there. Alright, that was Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a log. Never mind. So we're going to check for the elephants behind Flamingo Island. That's where they like to hang out when it's a little bit darker out. Ooh, it's getting dusk. <laughs> Flamingo Island, though, is of course home to the greater Flamingo. Greater flamingo are the largest and consequently the lightest shade pink of any other flamingo subspecies. When flamingos hatch are gray and white, the process of turning pink takes about a year and a half from the time they hatch. And it happens because they eat brine, shrimp, and shellfish, foods that contain the mineral beta carotene. But because their coloration comes from what they eat, when their feathers fall off, those feathers, no matter how pink they were, they're going to turn white again. Because they're no longer pumped with beta carotene. Pump them up. Hey, you make me turn me. Oh, look at the wings, very reddish. Very reddish, the wings. I guess we'll just head straight on over here to Bush Country, which is also called White Rhino Territory. Bush Country, ooh. There's no elephants back there. No elephants. Rhinos of all no kinds way. get poached for their horns because some cultures think the horns have magical medicinal powers. Some claiming that if you consume the horn, you can cure yourself of cancer and other ailments. It's not true at all, but people still buy into it. And rhinos end up poached even on reserves where they were meant to be safe. As we cross over, we're greeted by the Bokbok. Bokbok is related to the wildebeest that we just saw. Bok -bok. But unfortunately, you can only find Bokbok on reserves. It's a chicken. At one point, there were so few Bokbok left that they had to build a reserve around the remaining few. Oh, I see it. There's a Bokbok. Some kind of wild cat up there. There's a Bokbok. The rhino mud pit there has been used already. The mud has been tossed around a little bit. So just keep your eyes peeled. They tend to wander around a lot, those white rhinos. The Bokbok. There's an attic over on the right hand side by the animal keeper truck. There's also a bunch of Let's look over here. Yeah. The attic over that white one back there. It's also called the white antelope or the screw horny antelope because its horns twist. Screw horny? What? And there are critically endangered desert dwelling antelope. Less than 300 attics left in wild and about 1,000 left in captivity. Oh, not good. Because they're from the desert, the temperature is very important. So they have to turn brown during the colder parts of the year. That way they can absorb more sunlight and stay warm. But here on the left, I see some cheetahs in that hut, hey. right up there on the hill. If you look really close to their right, there where the branches kind of hit the ground. 
There was another one kind of walking around. Hey, don't be cheap. Oh, wait, look on the right. There's a rhino. Oh, oh. See him up oh. there? Oh, yeah. I see her up there. Oh, right there. He's already been in the mud pit, as you can tell. Uh, they weigh around 5,000 like he's rubbing his horn. Very social, typically found our family groups. Itching his horn up there. Horn! I think everyone's already seen the rhino there. Yeah, we got it. Let's zoom up this way and check out that cheetah. All right, all right. Bye. Rhino. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals running at around 70 miles an hour. They're daytime hunters, so if you look at their faces, you'll see dark stripes. Starting above each eye and going all the way down to the mouth. That helps them to not get blinded so they don't run into anything. Oh, they also don't weigh very much. They weigh about 90 pounds. They get their food stolen from them a lot. Mainly by lions. Lions weigh four to 500 pounds. So if they come by and swipe the cheetah's food, the cheetah isn't going to do anything about it. She just runs away. They give up. They're not going to win that fight. There she is. Up ahead is one of Africa's most popular animals, the zebras. I wonder how zebra tastes. Just look right past the thorny bushes, they're heading in there. And they disappear. Alright. Up there are three different kinds of zebra. Grants, Grevy, and Mountain. These are the Grants on the reserve. Uh, but on the left, look at that beautiful lioness right there. Oh, on the oh, hill, on the rock. Oh, she has some friends. Look at that. There's another female. Look. Hey, the Hakuna Matata. If you look really closely at the lion's eyes, you'll see light from the eyelids. That helps them see better at night. They can see six times better at night than they can during the day. The females are smaller than the males, but they do the hunting. The males usually stay behind. They protect the pride from intruders. The bigger they're stronger. And the man actually protects his throat for when he gets into a fight. I mean, six. Six o'clock, the beast is coming behind us. Bam! Oh, and these guys are not far from it. These guys are battling. Look at them. They're two years old. Now this big guy is coming out. He's gonna battle them with the big horn. Here comes the big one. Look, he's ready to break through this bush here with the big horn. Bam! Yeah, I got the lions. This guy's. This, this guy's, yeah, this guy's the enforcer. He's like, oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you who's boss. What? Chaqueta? No way. Let's go see them on the other side. And there's some lions. They're like, we don't care. We just say, they're gonna lay She's running this way. Let's see if she scares anything else. Oh, it's running this way. Oh, they're still running. Look, he's going to battle the truck. Uh -huh. She's going to cross right in front of us here. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. No worries. What are you doing? Well, that one in the back is huge. Look at him. Beast. The food plate's empty. They're like, yeah, where's my food? Me more. I'm Gordo. I'm Gordo. He's like, was a real long my horn is much bigger than you. Around them. That's all they have food out like rocks, trees, and termite mounds. The white rhino's horns will grow about six inches a year. They won't really necessarily gain that length though because they're sharpening it. They're always sharpening, so they're grinding it down. So six inches growth, grind it down. Awesome. It's getting dark, everybody. They're electric, baby. Oh, whiplash. Oh, here's one right here. 
than I don't know if you can see him on GoPro, but I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna keep shooting. I'm gonna keep shooting till the ride's over for your viewing pleasure. Let's start for the ones on the right. Those are probably a little bit easier for all of us to see. Um, these are also from the desert, like the addicts that we just saw a few minutes ago. Uh, but these are classified as extinct in the wild. There's conservation efforts going on in Chad, though, to help them survive. Uh, last year they released 25 of them as a controlled release. So they're tracking everything they do to make sure they're safe. They basically just want them to revitalize their populations. The first group they released had a few babies. The first one was born about three months ago. That was the first wild-born scimitar horned orcs in over 30 years. And because that worked out so well, they released 23 more just last week. So they're hopefully on their way to more sustainable populations. And there were some birds on the right-hand side of the water. Those are yellow-billed storks. And they're known to eat anything, hey. including other birds. Hey, hungry. you're on camera. Uh, they're a very Hi. diverse diet, as we're never explains. There's the crew. <laughs> oh, yeah. Down to civilization again. The little Harambe is a lot of fun at night. Lots of shows going on in the summer. Harambe Village, the Harambe Street Party going on. The Harambe Sisters. Lots of entertainment offerings. There's also the Carnival over in Discovery Island that you can check out. The Tree of Life comes to life every few minutes. Ah, 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 ah. Going through the water, let's get some of that action. Oh, 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 we just hit the lead. If you haven't seen anything, come back, check a little bit later. No two trips around the reserve are ever the same. Come visit us till 7.30 tonight. I hear a dance party. Gather up all your personal belongings. We're heading right on up to the warden's post. <laughs> 